Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good day, respected and honoured board members My name is Muhammad Azlan bin Awang Ladis And I am an English language trainer at ALS Communication Technologies Today, I am excited to share the remarkable success story of our recent training Enhancing English communication skills in the workplace which was successfully conducted on July till October 2023. During this presentation, I will provide an overview of the objectives and implementation of the training program, highlighting key topics covered and the impact achieved. The English communication training sessions were conducted over a span of three days, with a total of 10 sessions held during the specified period. Each training session accommodated 50 employees from various levels and departments within our company, ensuring a diverse and inclusive learning environment. We will explore each day of the training in detail, including the activities conducted and the skills emphasized. Additionally, I will share key highlights and success metrics observed throughout the training period. Towards the end, I will offer recommendations for future initiatives and conclude with a summary of the training objectives achieved. On the first day of each training session, we began with an energizing ice-breaking session aimed at fostering a sense of unity among participants and setting a positive tone for the rest of the training. All participants were requested to introduce themselves, providing insights into their job background and roles within the company. This ice-breaking activity served multiple purposes. Firstly, it allowed participants to get to know each other better, creating a more inclusive and collaborative learning environment. Secondly, it provides me, as the trainer, with valuable insights into the diverse background and skill levels of the participants. Understanding their roles within the company helped me tailor the course content and delivery to meet the specific needs and objectives of each individual. Additionally, the icebreaking session helped break down any initial doubts and concerns participants may have had encouraging open communication and active partic participation throughout the training. After the ice-breaking session, participants engaged in interactive sessions where we explored the details of networking at the workplace, covering topics such as starting conversations, making small talk, and getting down to business. By the end of the day, Participants were equipped with fundamental communication skills to navigate professional interactions confidently. Day 2 was dedicated to nurturing confidence in English communication among our employees. We focused on discussions and meetings covering a range of topics including expressing opinions, agreement and disagreement, making and soliciting suggestions, and honing listening skills. Participants engage in lively discussions, learning effective communication strategies for expressing opinions and engaging in constructive dialogues during meetings. Techniques for expressing agreement or disagreement respectfully were discussed, along with strategies for making and soliciting suggestions to drive productive conversations. The importance of active listening skills in meetings was emphasized with participants engaging in practical exercises to enhance their ability to listen attentively and respond appropriately. The day concluded with participants expressing increased confidence in their ability to communicate effectively in English, setting the stage for more advanced communication strategies. The final day of each training session focused on applying newly acquired skills in real-world scenarios with a particular emphasis on making presentations. Participants received guidance on presentation pointers, 
planning and delivering presentation effectively. They had the opportunity to deliver presentation on various topics relevant to their roles within the company, receiving feedback and refining their skills in the process. The training sessions ended with participants successfully delivering Polish presentations, showcasing their enhanced communication skills to their peers and supervisors. Throughout the three-day training sessions, we observed a significant improvement in participants' English proficiencies and confidence levels. Post-training surveys revealed overwhelmingly positive feedback with participants expressing gratitude for the opportunity to enhance their communication skills. Graphical presentation showcased the substantial increase in participants' self-assessment scores before and after the training, highlighting tangible progress and measurable success. Based on the matcha, we can see the distribution of self-assessment scores before and after the training. Before training, the majority of participants scored below 50 marks. After training, the majority of participants improved their scores significantly with a large number scoring above 76 marks. The bar chart clearly indicates a positive result from the training program. There is a notable shift in the distribution of scores towards higher marks after the training. The absence of participants scoring below 50 marks after training along with a significant increase in participants scoring above 76 marks suggests that the training has effectively enhanced English communication skills in the workplace. Building on the success of this training, I recommend implementing regular English communication workshops to sustain momentum and further improve language skills. Additionally, incorporating ongoing support mechanisms such as language exchange programs and access to online resources can facilitate continuous learning and development. In conclusion, I am proud to report that our English communication training program have successfully achieved their objectives, laying the foundation for clearer, more effective communication in the workplace. Thank you for your attention and valuable time. It has been a privilege to share our success story with you today. As we conclude, I would like to express my gratitude to each of you for your constant support and commitment to enhancing English communication skills within our company. Moving forward, let us continue to leverage the knowledge and skills gained from this training to foster a culture of clear and effective communication in the workplace. Together, we can build stronger connections, drive collaborations, and achieve greater success as a team. Thank you.